Good morning, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. We are halfway through the week, and I need that. I need that encouragement to know that I only have two more days left of this week, and I can get back to the weekend. I don't know. I just really enjoy the week. I don't have to repeat myself. I've said it tons and tons of times on these videos. I very much so enjoy the weekend. So I'm excited for this weekend. I don't have too many plans, but... You know, it's the weekend, so whatever. But it is still Wednesday, and I don't want to get ahead of myself. And I'm still um, searching and seeking and finding the blessings that God has in store for me. Which goes right into our goal for the day. So, as always, God is blessing us. He's always going to be blessing us. Today's goal is to be a blessing. Be a blessing, which is weird that... This has not been a goal earlier in the year, but literally when I looked at it, I was like, I was just like, hmm, that's interesting. Be a blessing. This is clearly called the Be Blessed Project. We should know by now that blessings, well, I guess, I don't know. I, I don't know if I've ever explained it, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to assume. But to be a blessing is to show someone mercy or great favor or to do a great favor for someone. It's not just, you know, oh, I dropped something, pick it up. Oh, thank you. But it's going out of your way to do, and I mean, that could have been a blessing, I don't know. But it's going out of your way to um, bestow favor on someone. Obviously, the greatest blessing, the greatest person that has been a blessing to me, I would say, is obviously Jesus Christ. Um, For the obvious reasons and then even reasons that are specific to my life. However, because I have received a blessing or blessings from God in a state of not deserving them, I feel like it's almost my obligation to also be a blessing to others, even if they don't necessarily, um, even if they haven't shown or given anything to me or shown me that they deserve a blessing. And that, I think, is the biggest um, thing with this one is sometimes it's easy or uh, all the time it's easy to be a blessing to people that deserve blessings. So if someone has done something to you, it's easy to return the blessing or return the favor to them. But to, for the people, for strangers, for example, that you have no idea who they are. Um, they've never done anything to your life to impact it in any way. Those are the people that we want to try to seek out to be a blessing towards, if that makes sense. So today, and it's it's perfect for the holiday season because I feel like a lot of people are searching for ways that they can be a blessing. You know, they go to like a soup kitchen, they go um, to feed the homeless, they go to, they give, they give um, money to charity, they give like toys for tots, anything like that. So today, if you are that type of person that wants to go out and do a charity or anything like that, go ahead, do that. Make that your goal today is to find something or find some way that you can be a blessing. For other people, though, that maybe don't have necessarily have time or the capacity to go out and serve at a soup kitchen or anything like that or buying toys for tots, I get it. It's the holiday season. You may have to provide for your own family before you provide for another's. But... There are still ways that you could be a blessing among the people that you see every single day. Try to go out of your way to grant someone favor or grant someone mercy or even extend grace. Forgiving someone for something that they probably shouldn't be forgiven for. You know, extend grace to them. That is probably, that's actually a huge blessing that you can give someone is extending grace. But that is what we are focusing on today. And honestly, the rest of our lives really is just making sure that when people come in contact with us they are they feel blessed and we don't want them and that could be in any way shape or form blessings don't just have to be monetary or physically they could be emotionally they could be mentally they could be spiritually we just want them to feel blessed we don't want them to feel worse than what they how they came into our space with, um, or we don't want them to even be the same. We want to impact them in a positive way. So we want to make sure that we are spreading the blessings that God has given us to everyone around us. All right. So that is the goal for today is to be a blessing. Hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.